What's up, Chaos 1072 here for another Chaos Toy Review. Today, taking a look at Sekuo, also known as Trip Tour. Jetros and Jumbo Wave. So, this is the third mecha in the Go Underline, and like Gamburo before, it came in three separate pieces. So, let's take a look at them in numerical order, and if you're wondering, why I have him in this in the jet attack configuration? It's because this thing is just one of the tall mechas, and literally this thing is the height of a mecha on its laying down. So we'll put this off to the side for now. Just turning the wheels. We'll take a look at Triptor, the Chicken of Justice. Piloted by Go On Gold. And it can fly. Propeller action. And its engine soul is attainable right in here. Or engine soul 7. So, and to activate it, you just press these little things. It says bata bata, etc., etc. And it is a flying chicken. Then we have Jetros the Tiger. And has a missile, but uh, actually I have it right here. So shove the missile in his mouth. And to fire and to activate the engine soul. Is it both or just one? Specifically. Looks like it's just this, this one. And open his engine soul, just open the back. And engine soul number eight. Piloted by Goan Silva. So, doesn't do much in, in this mode either, like all the other engines, and is one of the rare flying engines on the machine world. And let's take a look at Jumbo Whale, the mentor of the Goan Wings, and is a whale, a flying whale. And I'm so glad, RPM address this weirdness and responded to it hilariously by saying well would you prefer I turn it back into a giant Vendux attack drone They're like nah we're good so yeah it has a jet mode and officially the jet mode is with this but we're gonna have Jumbo Whale and his engine soul is right here you just plug it in and to activate his engine soul is the buttons up here. And to get him in from jet mode to plane mode is you just fold this up. And you clip these together if you don't have the wing bits. If you don't have everything kind of going against it. And here you have him in plane mode. So let's get into the transformation. I'm not going to show these off as limbs just because it's going to look the exact same on Engino. And we're going to make him into limbs. So first you want to start with spreading his legs and keeping these flippers down. Then pan up. With him. I'm folding these up, plugging this onto the front, and exposing the head. Let's move him off to the side for now. For jet truss, unplug this, and then there's little slides in here that'll slide right into. Actually, they're on the outside of this piece. And just straighten it out. And I'll show you, plug it in for a, in a second. And for I forgot this thing's name. Anyway, just fold this piece back to kind of compress the arm a bit. Mm 
bring in Seikuo and plug it in and plug it in and now you have engine got high trip door I knew I remember it and then you have Seikuo and he's again kind of a mule piece but in the worst way and literally all of Jumbo Whale just gets slapped onto G9 and right extension G12's back so we'll show that off now so you want to take off these and you can't even pose his arms because the way the wings work so he's not a bad figure he's just the weakest of the bunch and then you want to plug him in like this and then spread the legs this way now I just like to fold them this way because the way my shelf is I don't got room for all this and then fold them in like this and Fold them like this so he just kind of looks like he's spread an eagle and then fold out these little connector pegs. So bring in your G9 formation and take off the shield and take off G6 helmet and before we attach that let me show you I have attached all this guff, so I'm going to plug in the helmet on this little ridge, and then there is a port on his back, in a weird place where you're going to plug in the shield bit, and you can honestly keep the handle can, or the engine can, on here and then you take them take G what is currently G6 and you make them G9 and you want to take these bits plug them onto the feet there's a female and male, and, and I'm just going to do the rest of this off camera because this is getting slowly very heavy. Okay. It's getting pretty big now. Take this off, and this is the last time you can store this on somewhere effectively on his back. Hold on these little wing bits. Take off this and fold out this little peg. Flip about this hand, which will expose a port up here. I'm starting to cramp from having to reach around everything. And just plug them up. And same with Triptor here. Now the helicopter blade is removable, but I keep it on. Then plug this on to give him little goggles and it does fit color scheme wise besides this red block up here and like Jet Ross just fold up this little thing and do the same thing with the arm. I realized I had a mistransformed I didn't pull up the little feet tabs but anyway then take this fold it up pull out this and like the G6 helmet before it, plug it in and now we have G9 formation. And he is big and is about as much posability as you expect, especially out of all this, with three mecha, three full mecha, nine components, all slapdashed into one. And the crazy thing is, it gets bigger from here. So, thank you guys for watching. And this thing's name in America is the Mach Megazord. The Maha Megazord. And yeah, literally all of Jumbo Whale is just on his back. Talk about a humpback whale! Sorry about that, but yep, that's G9. So, sorry about the short review, it's just that this thing doesn't do all that much. And I'll catch you guys in the final part of G12. The ancient engines. The ancestors. Kyoretsuo!